Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Draw with Rob. With me, Rob Bidoff. Now I have to warn you, you might hear Ringo barking in a second because the pears seem to be falling off the pear tree in my garden and Ringo thinks they're balls. So he's chasing pears around the garden as they fall from the tree and barking at them. He is a doofus dog. <laughs> so if you hear barking, you'll know what it is. Now listen, I'm a children's author and illustrator. Maybe you've seen my very first chapter book. Peanut Jones and the Illustrated City. Look, I've done loads and loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of illustrations in there. Nice short chapters, a fun story that really moves along at pace. So check it out if you like things like How to Train Your Dragon, that kind of thing. You might like that story. But today is a very exciting day because I am going to be drawing a character from my brand new picture book. I only have one copy of it myself at the moment. That's how brand new it is. Do you want to see it? Da, da, da. Look, there it is. My brand new book. I can't even fit it all on the screen. Look, it's called The Blue Footed Booby. And I'm super, super, super proud of it. Do you want to have a look inside? A little sneak peek. Here we go, lots of footprints everywhere. A handy definition down here of what a booby is, just in case you weren't sure because it does sound a bit rude doesn't it booby but it's actually a large tropical bird of the gannet family with black and white plumage and brightly colored feet and here's the book oh, i really love that i don't know why i love that you can see it's a bit more kind of inky and sketchy than lots of my other books slightly different style and i decided to keep this book quite sort of black and white with just a few bits of red green and blue apart from the cakes because there's lots of cakes in this book and I've done them in full colour because there's, the reason there's lots of cakes is because everybody knows that all red-footed boobies are bakers at heart. And Desmond here makes a mean frangipan tart. In fact, he's just made one. But here's something weird. The tart that he's just made has just <gasps> disappeared. Where has it gone? Have you spotted a clue? <gasps> oh, look, Desmond, footprints. Big footprints of blue. Let's follow the footprints to see where they go. Left footprint, right footprint, dash through the snow. So you can see it's a mystery story. Somebody is stealing the cakes and it looks like it's the blue footed booby. Because look, wherever they go, they leave blue footprints everywhere as these cakes go missing. So check that one out. It's a super fun story and I'm very, very proud of it. So much so that I thought I would draw one of its stars for you guys today. Now, we have already drawn a blue footed booby way 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 back in june of 2020 video number 24 we drew the blue footed booby here we go here's a little reminder of what we drew do you remember doing that one did you draw it along with me if not go back and check it out all of my videos are available for you to watch online whenever you like totally for free so if you haven't watched that one yet go back draw it I, so I let you into a secret. I'd already written this story when I did that video. I don't think I, I can't remember, but I don't think I said that in the video. But I'd already written the story. I wrote it a long, long time ago. And that's how long it sometimes it takes for these books to come out. Um, you know, people think we just write them on the Monday and they come out in the shops on the Wednesday. No, no, they take a long, long time to put together. Um, but yeah, if you haven't watched it, go and check it out. Um, we'll get rid of that picture now um, because we're going to draw a new one. Here's a new piece of paper. So today, I thought I'd show you how to draw a red-footed booby. Now, the more observant of you might have noticed that the blue-footed boobies in my book and the red-footed boobies in my book, they look exactly the same apart from the color of their feet. And that is actually true. <laughs> in real life, they do look a bit different, blue foot. Did you know, I should say, shouldn't I, that blue-footed boobies and red-footed boobies are both real things. They're both real birds that you can find in real life. They're found in kind of tropical places, mainly on the Galapagos Islands, but all down the Pacific coast and various other tropical islands, you can find boobies, blue-footed and red-footed ones, but they are real, real things. But yes, my blue-footed and red-footed ones do look the same apart from the color of their feet. So I am gonna draw a blue-footed booby from head on, straight on. Uh, sorry, a red-footed booby from straight on. We did the blue-footed one running along, and we're going to do the red-footed one from straight on. And this is a very nice, easy episode of Draw with Rob, because boobies are super, super simple to draw. Right, I'm going to stop talking, and I'm going to start drawing a little booby. 
But before I do, I just wanted to let you know that keep watching till the end of this video because I have a rather exciting competition for you guys to enter where you can win an actual original drawing that I've done, okay? So keep tuned, stay tuned even, not keep tuned, stay tuned to the end to find out details of that, okay? Right, now I'm gonna start. Okay, boobies. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying boobies is part of my job. Right, but boobies are very, very easy to draw. What we need to do is start sort of, let's start towards the top of our page, shall we? And I want you to draw a kind of circle, but we're gonna leave a gap at the bottom of our circle. So I think I'm gonna start about here and I'm gonna draw a kind of circle like that. We're gonna go up and around, but can you see, oh, that's a bit thick there, but I'm gonna come back down and instead of, instead of just sort of stopping dead, I've slightly curved down at either end of my little circle like that so sort of a horseshoe shape I guess now you can see I'm using my brush pen here my Kurataki brush pen not to be asked what pens I use this is a Kurataki brush pen I think it's a Sumi and you can see it's gone really thick over that side and sort of you can sort of see where it's broken up a little bit over there because the bristles have sort of dried out on that side I really love that that's why I love using brush pens because you get all these kind of random effects when you use them and lots of people think oh that's a bit of a mistake but I really love it I love that texture and if you look at the boobies in my book that I've drawn you'll see they all kind of have that texture there's a big one here at the back I'm going to try and show you this picture it's a bit of a spoiler Hello, but not really hang on let me just see I'll go close up to not get a spoiler but can you see I've really kept all that texture of the brush pen and the brushes in my drawings I really really like that kind of inky texture so there we go so if you make a little mistake if you're using a brush pen and make a mistake where it gets a bit thicker don't whatever you do start again because I really really love that okay next thing to do is from each of these downward points I want you to draw a straight line down your page like that we're gonna do exactly the same on the other side so we've drawn like a little round circle with a bit of a rectangle coming out of the bottom of it okay then we are going to draw exactly the same, another circle at this end, but this time we're going to do it very slightly bigger. So I'm going to come out, probably to about there, I'm going to come around like that. Can you see it's very slightly bigger, this bottom bulge? Like that. So it looks a bit like a bone, dog's bone or something, but with a slightly bigger bottom than a top. Again, mine is not remotely symmetrical. But the other good thing about these brush pens is you can just add a bit of ink here and there. Oh, or you can just do that. <laughs> and add a random brush stroke there. But can you see, you can just sort of style it out. You can just add a bit more ink here and there. There's a bit of a bulge there. I'll just add a bit more up there. And you can just kind of make it work. So there we go. The very first shape, which is part of our red footed booby. Now I'm switching to a thinner pen now because I want to use a bit of a thinner pen because I've got to do a few little detaily bits. And I'm going to start down here on the bottom section of our booby. And what I want you to do is coming out of the side, I want you to draw a curve that comes out of the side and then goes back into the side there. And we're going to do exactly the same on the other side. So two kind of little curves like that. Then inside each of those shapes that we've created, I want you to do three more curves. Three. One, two, three. And believe it or not, they are gonna be our boobies wings. They're kind of folded away. Our booby is not flying at the moment. The wing is kind of flown, uh, folded away. So this is gonna be our booby's body. This is the neck and this is gonna be our booby's head. Okay. We're gonna give our booby a beak now. So right in the middle of the head, we're gonna draw a little horizontal line, about that wide. So sort of about half the width of this neck here, sort of in the middle of it. And then we're gonna come down, we're gonna go a little bit into the neck, like about there, curve around, and then head back up. And that is gonna be our booby's beak. <laughs> I really love drawing these boobies, they're such, such fun to do. The next thing we're gonna do, we need to give our booby some eyes. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna center the eyes around this horizontal line at the top of the beak, okay? So I want you to draw a circle 
next to it like that the kind of the midway point is level with that line like so and I'm gonna do exactly the same on the other side try and make your eyes roughly the same size if you can and then inside each one we're gonna do a little circle like that that we color in and look suddenly our booby is awake and already our booby has lots of character the next thing to do they've got a sort of dark sort of a black kind of patch around their eyes it looks a bit like a mask actually and this is how we draw it we're gonna come out from the beak here we're gonna go around our eye like that and go up and over we go around the other eye like that we're gonna go join back up with the beak there and then we're just gonna color it in like so easy peasy and there we go starting to look just like the boobies in the book eyebrows very important for expression I'm gonna do my eyebrows sort of going up a bit in the middle so our booby looks sort of a bit kind of surprised slightly perturbed a bit confused <laughs> that's kind of a boobies default look I think and we are not a million miles away from finishing this picture I told you this was a very very easy one but of course a blue footed booby what do they need blue feet we're not drawing a blue footed booby though we're drawing a red footed booby so let me try that again red footed boobies what do they need that's right red feet so I've taken a red colored pencil now I'm going to use so mainly I'm going to use a bit of red colored pencil to block that we've got a bit of water there um, I'm going to use mainly red uh, red color pencil but I am going to use a little bit of red watercolor to do the little bits of webbing later on so I don't know if you have any watercolor paints don't worry at all if you don't don't even worry if you don't have any colors because everything I do you can just do with a pencil you can just shade it in you can certainly do the watercolor bit with a red pencil let me show you what I mean and, and that everything will become clear, don't worry. But the first thing to do, if you do have a red pencil is, we're gonna do two little legs coming down like that from our booby's body. Quite thick, like that, and only a centimeter or so long, okay? Then we'll do this foot first, the one on the right. We're gonna then change direction, only very subtly, to go towards the middle of our page. We're gonna come right down towards the bottom. We're gonna do nice big red feet on our red footed booby. I wonder how many times I've called this a blue footed booby when I've been talking today. <laughs> I'm so used to saying blue footed booby. I've got a feeling I've been saying it the whole time. Okay, so once you've done that, we're then gonna draw another diagonal line coming down this way this time, about the same length as the one we just did, coming out from where the leg is like that so sort of an upside down V and then our final line is going to come out at an angle like this like that and they're going to be the sort of the three toes on our boobies foot like so okay nice and easy that one I think I need to make a little bit longer like that okay we're gonna do exactly the same on the other side. So let's start with the one that comes in. They almost touch in the middle of their feet, their toes, I mean, like that. Then we're sort of doing a mirror image. You're probably quite good at doing mirror images now. We do that a lot in my videos, don't we? And then the last one's gonna go out there. And hey presto, we have our boobies feet. Okay, now they have kind of webbed feet. So they have this kind of skin that grows across the middle. And as I said, I'm gonna use this. This is my watercolor set. It's rather used. I should have cleaned it up a bit. I just haven't really bothered. And watercolor sets, watercolors are lovely to paint with. They're really good fun. If you get yourself a little tin like this of watercolors, what you do, I use these brushes. They're really good. You can get them quite cheaply in art shops or online. And what they do, they're a brush. You can see they've got a brush at the end, but the water, instead of having to dip your brush into water, the water is held in there and you just sort of squeeze it and a bit of water comes out and it makes using watercolors really easy. What you do, hang on, let's see, I don't want to get watercolor on the painting yet. What you do, you just put your brush into your red paint. We need a bit of red here. And then you just sort of do that, mix it on the palette and the bit of water comes out of the brush and it just sort of mixes it kind of really nicely like that. Can you see that? I wasn't really showing you, was I? There we go. 
lovely bit of red paint, like so. And then by squeezing your brush a bit, you can then just paint a nice sort of watercolory covering like that. Can you see it sort of doesn't go over my pencil and it will also hopefully will dry a little bit lighter in colour. So it just adds a certain different kind of texture to your drawing. Like that, you see. And the really good thing about these, right, I'm going to put this here, hopefully I'm not going to get it. The really good thing about these is instead of washing them in water, what you do, just squeeze and you do that. And can you see, I don't know if you can see, but it starts running clean and it just sort of cleans your brush itself because the water comes from inside the brush. And now my brush is clean again and ready to go with the next thing. And the next thing in this instance, I'm going to use a little bit of grey. So I'm going to get a bit of black, I'm going to water it down a bit. I've got another piece of paper over here that you can't see, which is very handy when you're using watercolours. Have a spare bit of paper and then you can see how much water you need to add to your paints to get it nice and light. The reason that I want this not to be too dark is because I'm just going to paint a little bit of that. I'm going to paint just with a little bit of kind of grey over the wings like this. And you see it's watercolour so it's transparent and you get this really kind of nice effect and we'll do it up here on the beak as well. And you can see where the water sort of kind of pools you can sort of control that with your brush and you can make really nice effects. I'm going to have mine darker at the top, like so, like that. And you'll see when it dries, you can see the red's already drying here, it gets that nice kind of dark edge to it, like that. And you'll see over the course of the next minute or two that it will dry really nicely. And the grey hopefully will add a really nice kind of wash texture behind the beak or behind the wings and it just looks really nice and it works really well with these boobies but that's it that is how you draw a red footed booby aren't they cute they're such funny little things these guys you should google the images of them because you'll see them you think my drawing's a bit silly but when you actually see these animals you'll see that it's actually quite accurate they're incredible little creatures um they're about 70, I think they average about 70 centimetres tall, so they're quite big. They're quite big birds, you know, if you saw one walking down the street, you'd certainly notice it. It's not like a sparrow or a blue tit or something walking down the street. These are big things. There he is. Did you hear that? Ringo's barking. A pear has just fallen and it's landed on the trampoline in the garden and he is losing his mind trying to get it. Because <laughs> he can't jump up onto the trampoline. Oh, Ringo, you doofus. Anyway. <laughs> I'll leave him to it I think. So there we go, that's your booby. I didn't see the colouring, I didn't even have to go into super speed mode. That's how little colouring there is in these, with these boobies and that's why this book is so, it's kind of not that much colour in it, but I really like that. Can you see, look, just little bits of colour, red, green and blue here and there and lots of kind of black and white so it's a slightly different feel for me. But I really really hope you like it. All that's left now for me to do the most important thing, you know what it is, you remember what it is, we've got to sign our picture. So I'm going to sign my name here. I'll do my full signature, I think. Roll, bit off, there we go, a little kiss. And that is how you draw a red footed BB. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, now do you remember I said there was a little competition? Ringo was really barking, I'm really sorry if you can hear him. He's really barking at the pair on that trampoline. Now, do you remember I said, yes, there's a competition that you guys can enter, and this is what you can win. You ready? Doo -doo -doo. This little original drawing in ink and watercolour and a bit of coloured pencil of a blue-footed booby that I've done for you. I will put this in a nice envelope and I'll send it to you with a letter of authentication. I'll probably even do a little stamp on it and everything, just so you know. Ringo, shut up. Uh, sorry, that was rude. Um, but you can own this, an original one-off blue-footed booby drawing by yours truly. How do you win it? I hear you ask. Well, do you know what? You don't have to do much more than you usually do with Draw With Rob pictures because usually I ask you to take a picture of your drawing, don't I? And post it with this hashtag, Draw With Rob. Ringo, stop barking. I'm trying to talk to the children. Um, you post it with this Draw With Rob hashtag, don't you? I still want you to do that. But if you, sorry, 
See, Ringo's barking's putting me off now. I'm trying to speak, Ringo. Um, <laughs> but if you also add this hashtag here, blue footed booby comp, then that will automatically enter you into our competition. It's for UK residents only, and you must be 13 or over and have an adult's permission to enter. Okay, so make sure you get a grown-up's permission to enter if you're under 13. And one winner will be selected at random on the 20th of September, 2022. So if you're watching this in the future, i.e. past 20th of September, 2022, you can't win, you can't enter. You can still send me a picture using the Draw With Rob hashtag. I'd love to see that, but you won't be able to win the picture. So make sure you do that before the 20th of September. And who knows, maybe you will be the owner of this original artwork. Um, so that's exciting, isn't it? But yes, I can't wait to see your drawing. So do send me your pictures with those two hashtags. I cannot wait to see them. And who knows, maybe you will make the grid. Now then. I am going to, let, if you hang around to the end of this video, okay, I'm gonna put a little teaser for the book up. There's a little animated trailer that we've made for the book. So you can have a look at the book and see whether it's something you fancy. Oh, should I say something secret? I really love this, right? Every time I do a hardback book, the books all come out in hardback, and that means you get to do two covers. So look, we've got a really cool blue-footed booby cover there in underneath the main cover, and on the back of it, look, loads of cakes. Because as I said, red-footed boobies are bakers at heart. So there we go, that's cool. But do check this book out if you want it. It's available to order now from wherever you get your books from. If you can support your local bookshop, that would be fabulous. Um, uh, but if not, you can get it online from anywhere where you usually buy your books. Thank you so much for listening to me today. I really love showing you how to draw this little red foot. Um, do send me your pictures. Do subscribe to my newsletter, that way you get all the information because I'm going to be doing a lot of touring in the autumn, uh, and for, sort of from September onwards I'm going to be appearing all over the country. So make sure you subscribe to my newsletter and I'll send you information about my tour dates. I'll also send you information about any other new books that are coming out. Um, or else make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're watching on YouTube. So um, turn your notifications on so then when a new video drops we will let you know about it. What else? Oh yeah, I know. Keep those pencils sharpened. Keep on drawing, keep on reading until we meet again. Before you know it, I'll be back with another new video. In the meantime, take care of yourselves, be kind to everybody you know, and I'll see you soon.